pseudo, we now have the first stable release of a memory safe version of sudo. Now, the moment that I heard about this, I thought Rust. Rust is that popular language that allows you to provide memory safe code that you can build and deploy really easy, sort of easy. I mean, there's, a, there's a little bit of a, 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 it's hard to learn some parts of it. You have to unlearn a lot of what you've done with Rust. The cool part is the compiler will detect basically all those memory safety problems that you've run into in any of the other languages. Well, they took the power of that, the Rust compiler, and put it into a stable memory safe version of the sudo implementation. If you're familiar with sudo, it's that command that allows you to elevate your privileges on a Linux environment. When you're on the command line and you ask uh, to run a certain command in any of the directories, you'll basically, it's just like this XKCD meme, is you, you say, hey, make me a sandwich. And then you probably don't have the permission, so make the sandwich yourself. Then you just tack sudo on in front of that command and then it will basically elevate you to root privileges. You can even assume the role of any other user on the system. A stable release of a memory safe sudo implementation is critical for security perspective. Being that the sudo command can allow you to elevate your privileges on the Linux system, you can even change to a different user if you wanted to. It seems pretty important that this will be a full memory safe based application that allows you to do this. And as we can see here, Prosimo is very excited to announce a stable release of the sudo Rust implementation. <laughs> like, all right, there are Sudo is a utility of the most common ways for engineers to cross the privacy boundary between users and administrative. That's such a, that's such a nice way to say uh, elevated privileges on a box. <laughs> I mean, security is of the utmost importance, and I, I kind of like how they say it like this, because it's really, you take over the whole system. With sudo, you have sudo permissions, you own the system at that point. The sudo RS project, which is sudo that has been re-implemented using Rust, which is a memory safe language, has claims here that they have ways of improving on the security of the original sudo. First off, of course, the, the obvious memory safe language, which is Rust. And as many organizations, including Microsoft, has a, estimated that more than one out of three security bugs are related to the original sudo bug because of memory management issues. So just by bringing this logic over into Rust and creating a binary using a memory safe compiler, this will eliminate those specific errors. And then those errors are exploits that we could have. And we don't want those because the sudo command, that command can give you full permission to the entire box. The entire environment, it belongs to you. Are they also are leaving out out less commonly used features in sudo. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of a nice way to say they didn't do the full implementation, but yes, it's true. The less complex the system is, the more secure it has a chance of being, but they just did less work in this case. And then on top of that, as they were developing it, they created an intensive uh, they've created an extensive test suite here, which is managed uh, and defined some bugs in the original pseudo code. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's something to brag about for sure. Cause that's, that's pretty important. So now that we have the first stable release of a memory safe pseudo implementation written in Rust, we can see here that it goes a bit beyond where we are looking in terms of what systems they already have it running on Wolfie. So it looks like this Linux distro has already ported over to the Rust RS. That version of sudo will provide an additional level of security. Uh, and actually the reason why they took this adoption, they took the sudo implementation here that was written in Rust they say part of their mission statement was of with Wolfie is to make sure that memory safe was always a top priority. That memory safety is critical because guess what? Those are where the exploits come in. That's where they get you. They can find these holes in memory that can be poked at. And guess what? That is a vulnerability at that point. And you can create security exploits on that. Dan Lorenc, the uh, CEO, co-founder of ChainGuard, was the one who was describing these. He says, why it's so critical to have a memory safe system. And the pseudo utility is a perfect example of security critical tool that is both pervasive and underappreciated. And I can see here the rest of this paragraph is describing why security in general, you know, is really important. Obviously, when you're looking to find exploits, you're gonna be finding those in memory situations where memory can have various exploits. Many of the scenarios are where you can make a, a buffer in the application where it's legitimately asking the OS to allocate and deallocate memory. You can target those scenarios and maybe push more or less data into those uh, input outputs than the application's expecting, which allows the, the attacker to potentially take that application over where 
its boundaries were set. This can cause issues allowing uh, vulnerabilities to be taken advantage of. Those are the best kind of exploits. We won't be able to do those anymore uh, with, with this scenario. For yeah, We can't because Rust is going to be able to take care of that for us. It's not going to allow those types of situations to be problematic. And I wanted to check out here, Wolfie is a Linux distro that is designed for security software supply. Ah, so end to end Wolfie, the whole idea is security as a foundation. And this is one of the key reasons why we see that they've added these, the pseudo Rust implementation. And they do say here that the original C-based pseudo utility has been uh, maintained by Todd C. Miller for many years. And we're very grateful for Todd taking on that huge important task because that is a critical application on the system. Oh, and it even says that Todd here made some uh, excellent advice on the Rust implementation of this. That's fantastic. There's a nice little call out here at the bottom as well. AWS, Amazon Web Services has supported the transition to the memory safe software. How did they do Wait, hold on. I was jumping ahead. Okay, so it says Prosimo is able to take the challenge of working and rewriting critical components of the internet thanks to the community of funders, NLNet Foundation and Amazon Web Services. 